Hi everyone. So today we'll be solving an another lead code hard problem, and it is longest valid parentheses. And in this uh, problem, like we have been given a string, and it has got only two characters, opening parentheses and closing parentheses, and uh, we need to find the length of the longest valid parentheses substring. So let us take a look to the examples. So in this problem, like uh, the longest valid substring is this and its length is 2 so the answer is 2 and uh, in this second example like uh, the longest valid substring is this so its length is 4 so that's why answer is 4 and uh, in this third example like uh, this s is an empty string so since there is no valid uh, substring so that's why the output is 0 so we can now take a look to the constraints so the length of the string can range from 0 to 3 uh, to at max 3 to 3 into 10 to the power 4 so since like uh, the length can be 0 we will have to first handle this base case uh, like corner case otherwise like uh, we may get runtime error and uh, yeah this is like quite evident from the problem description that SI is uh, only opening parentheses and closing parentheses. We will we want to encountering something like ABC or anything like that. So like yeah. So we first need to understand how we'll be do doing this problem. So seeing the constraints, like uh, we can see that uh, order and square solution won't be able to pass all the test cases. So we will be trying for a order and solution. So, the like there are a lot of solutions for this problem. So they, this problem can be solved using stacks. There are uh, common problem. There are solutions which are using both stacks and DP. There are like uh, only DP solutions. So since I am like uh, adding this video to the like since I am running a DP series, so I will be discussing the DP solution for this problem. But like other solutions are also equally good and like some are better in like a space complexity as well so you should also like a, be trying to understand those solutions so let us try to understand how we'll be doing this using dp so let us consider a state and uh, this dp state i will represent the longest length of valid substring ending at at index i so basically if this is i so this will represent the longest length of substring valid substring that is ending at i so in this case like if i is this then the longest length will be 2 in this case so this dp of i will be 2 here and uh, we all know that uh, a valid substring cannot end at a opening parenthesis so like dp of these values will always be zero so we will be only like calculating the dp of sub index when the when there is a closing parenthesis at that place and now we need to consider the state transition that is like how we can get the answer of a problem using similar sub problems so like if we have got the uh, dp of uh, previous like in indices then how we can form the like how we can construct the answer of this dpi so let us try to understand uh, the structure of a string so we will be interesting in finding dp of i if uh, the string will be an if the character at that point will be a closing parenthesis so like a uh, if we will be like taking a look to the character that is just like that is just present previous to this this index then uh, there may be two possibilities like this the character can be like this so that character can be a opening parenthesis and that character can also be a closing parenthesis so just in case that character will be a opening parenthesis then we will we have we will be having a 
valid substring here and uh, now like all the what you, whatever be the maximum length of valid string ending at position i i minus 2 we can like uh, add this valid substring and uh, this valid substring of length 2 to form a big uh, valid substring so if the i minus 1 th character is a opening substring then we can easily like uh, write this dpi as equal to dp of i minus 2 plus 2 so this 2 represents this substring and this dp i minus 2 means the longest valid substring ending at the i minus 2 equation so we need to be careful about this i minus 2 index like uh, this number because this this number may also be less than 0 so we will be like taking care of them during the implementation so let us try to understand what will happen if this uh, i minus 1 character is is also a closing parenthesis so like if that character is also a closing parenthesis then uh, like uh, to form a valid substring ending at position i like we can have uh, we can trace back to the like we can we can now get the length of the valid substring ending at i minus 1 so we can like uh, move to the starting of this valid substring and suppose like uh, this valid substring is ending here so we need to like uh, we need to check that these this uh, this string just before the starting of this uh, the valid sub substring is a opening parenthesis or not so if that will be a opening parenthesis then like uh, a valid substring will be enclosed inside a closing and opening parenthesis and this will also become a valid substring so in that case like uh, the length will increase by 2 plus dp of i minus 1 but like uh, we need to be careful because it may be possible that the there may be a valid substring here also so in that case the total length of the valid substring ending at index i will be sum of this total uh, this whole value so basically we can write this total answer as dp of 2 no no dp of i minus 1 for representing this inner string and uh, plus 2 for these opening and closing characters and dp of i minus 1 minus dp of i minus 1 so this will take us to the starting point of the like yeah so after doing dp of after subtracting dp of i minus 1 from i minus 1 we will reach here and uh, to get the length of longest valid substring uh, ending at this position just before this position we can we will have to subtract one more from it so now this will be the value of dpi just in case uh, the this this string is a opening string so there will be a condition that this inner quantity yeah so this inner quantity is an opening string so now we have understood the basic concept we can now try to implement it so first of all like we will be handling this corner case of int n equal to 0 so first of all we will need the length of like we will uh, be needing the length of string s and if that is uh, equal to 0 we can simply return 0 because if there is no string there won't be any valid substring so now like uh, we have handled the corner case now we will be declaring the dp vector so 
yeah it will be initialized with value 0 and uh, now we need to iterate over this string so I am iterating with the vari uh, variable i and uh, we need to only care on if the character is a closing character closing parenthesis and uh, we'll first checking whether the i minus one is greater than equal to zero or not because uh, we'll be like if that is not a greater equal to zero like this will also be zero we, like we can't form a valid substring with only one character and uh, we will have two cases depending on whether the previous character is opening or closing so just in case it is opening then we can easily write this dp of i equals to 2 plus dp of i minus 2 but we need to like uh, be careful because this i minus 2 may be 0 as well like maybe less than 0 as well so in that case we will get a uh, out array index out of bounds error so there are like two ways to do this but uh, I can do this also I can like take the maximum of uh, these two quantities so if that this quantity will be less than 0 then uh, the value of this will be 0 and dp of 0 is 0 so yeah this is okay now we need to handle the second case when the previous character is also a closing parenthesis so in that case like uh, we will have to check this thing whether it is opening or not so like uh, this quantity may also be negative so we will be first checking whether it is greater than 0 or not so if this quantity is greater than 0 then we can like uh, check for this condition also and uh, it should be something like this yeah so just in case this is possible then we can set this dp of i as 2 plus 2 min 2 for like this opening and closing parenthesis and uh, dp of i minus 1 i minus 1 because like uh, we are including this as well and we need to also do i minus 1 minus dp of i minus 1 minus 1 and again like it may be possible that this quantity is less than less than 0 so we will be again taking max of this quantity with 0 So this whole loop will calculate all the values of dps. So the our answer is uh, maximum of all these values. So we can use this inbuilt function to calculate the maximum. And uh, yeah, we are good. Like we can do complexity analysis now. So like since we are iterating n times and all these operations are order 1 operations so the time complexity will be order n and uh, the space complexity is also order n because we are using a dp vector of n elements so we can try submitting it so first of all i am running it on sample test cases so it is passing we can submit it it got submitted. Thanks guys.